From safety incidents grounding entire fleets to production delays and even employee strikes, the aerospace giant has had a turbulent flight through the last few years. But now, there's a glimmer of optimism. Could certification of the Boeing 737, MAX 7, and MAX 10 finally turn things around? Let's take a look for today's video. Boeing's financial picture has been undeniably volatile lately. Once a darling of the aerospace world, the company has faced mounting scrutiny after a string of production delays, regulatory setbacks, and two high-profile crashes that severely damaged public trust in its aircraft. The challenges have piled up, and the road to recovery has been anything but straightforward. But amid all this, two potential wins are on the horizon the long-awaited certification of the MAX 7 and the MAX 10. These two aircraft represent the smallest and largest members of Boeing's popular 737 MAX family. Hundreds of orders are already on the books for both models, making them crucial pieces of Boeing's commercial aircraft strategy. According to Boeing's CEO, Kelly Ortberg, who took the reins with a mission to steady the ship, certification of these two jets could be completed by the end of the year. This announcement came during an interview on May 28th, as reported by Reuters. The significance of this milestone cannot be overstated, but certification has been anything but quick. For years, the FAA has delayed approval due to ongoing safety concerns, many of which stem from the earlier tragedies involving the MAX 8. One of the key sticking points for the MAX 7 and MAX 10 has been the engine de-icing system. While not a headline-grabbing issue, it's a critical part of ensuring flight safety, especially in cold-weather operations. In Ortberg's own words during an interview with Aviation Week, the MAX 7 and MAX 10 are two airplanes that are very, very important to our customers and our backlog. And he's not exaggerating. Boeing currently holds more than 1,200 orders for the MAX 10 and 332 orders for the MAX 7. Airlines are eager to receive them not just for their capacity options, but to modernize fleets and improve fuel efficiency. Ortberg remains confident despite the uphill battle. He believes both aircraft will clear certification by the end of 2025, paving the way for long-delayed deliveries. This comes after Boeing's chief commercial officer, Andrew Nocella, offered a more cautious outlook earlier in the month. Nocella noted that actual deliveries of the MAX 10 wouldn't likely begin before 2027, while Alaska Airlines projects mid-2026 at the earliest. So, while certification might come by the end of the year, that doesn't necessarily mean these jets will be in airline service anytime soon. It's another reminder of the wide gap that can exist between certification and commercial entry into service. And it's not just the MAX series Boeing is trying to push across the finish line, Ortberg also touched on the certification of the Boeing 777X, the largest twin-engine aircraft ever developed. This aircraft is a cornerstone of Boeing's future in the wide-body market and will become the largest commercial jetliner in production once certified. The aircraft was originally supposed to enter service in 2020, but as of now, it remains in flight testing with FAA approval still pending. Ortberg expressed hope that deliveries would begin next year, but he avoided giving any firmer commitment. So, what do you think? Will certification of the MAX 7 and MAX 10 be the comeback Boeing needs, or is it just one more delay away from disappointment? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you.